I am getting back into taking commissions. Two disclaimers, no, I will not do a commission for you because I only do local commissions. Okay, so we are going to multitask this morning while I chat with you and I'm going to work on my hair. Mostly because I have big, big goals on what I'm going to try to accomplish today. I have like three, three garments. Um, I need the pattern. Um, I also need to clean my studio and get this in a semblance of order. So that way I just have a good comfy workspace. So something that has been percolating in the back of my mind for a while now that I don't think I've talked to you guys about, I have decided that I want to be the main character in a high fantasy adventure and ooh, let's figure out this braid. Hold on. I want my wardrobe to reflect that. And I'm trying to get an idea of like what people would expect to have in a wardrobe like that. Like I definitely know what my expectations are, um, but I wanted to see if like people had different ideas. Um, and as I've been thinking more about it, I've kind of realized that uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do and what I make, it matters how I style it. I mean, does this also mean that I will be making specific garments because book characters that I really like wear them or like make comments that they like when their love interest wears a thing? Yes. Yes, I will. This also means that I'm going to start working on patterns again. I kind of stopped because I got really overwhelmed. Um, as you guys know, I've taken like a step back on producing content which has allowed me to take commissions which has allowed me to like fund things which has helped a lot um but I really want to start working on like building up my pattern business again because that brought me a lot of joy and I love seeing you guys make things with my patterns Making a new wardrobe also means that I need to clean out my closet um so a lot of the pieces that I've made for my everyday wardrobe are probably gonna go um, either because they don't really fit anymore or they don't really match this aesthetic that I'm gonna be going for so I would actually love to sell some of those pieces I just don't know how to do that um, so if you guys want to like comment suggestions for me um, I know I could just list them in my Etsy shop um, but I don't know if there's like a different place that would be better for that. Perfect. Those don't feel sun. Does this look good? I don't know. I just needed my hair up so that way I could pattern because we're patterning today. If there is one task that I absolutely hate when it comes to sewing, especially historical pieces, it is eyelets. <laughs> so um, I've cut out a bunch of stuff today and I really want to get started on making like new garments because like I feel like I'm doing something and it'll be awesome. Uh, realistically I need to get eyelets done so I can get these commissions out of my studio. That's what needs to happen. Also, like, I put my books away in some of the cubes and I put my crowns on top of them. It makes me so happy. Let me show you. I'm not standing up so we're getting like this angle. But like, those are my From Blood and Ash books with my birthday crown and then we have the Throne of Glass with a crown that I bought for a project. Never happened. Um, and then we have Akatar and Crescent City with my first real pretty crown. I'm so excited. Doing that makes me really excited to get working on my mini library sewing studio again. So um, that might be happening. I really just want those cubes to look really nice and aesthetic because like keeping my dress form there is just so convenient. Taking like quick worn photos 
with that as a backdrop would be really nice and convenient. Like, it, it's a thing. I feel like it just, it needs to happen. So I think the only thing that I actually managed to do yesterday was dysregulate my brain to make it feel like I didn't take my ADHD pills at all. <laughs> all this to say, I'm not doing so hot this morning, but uh, I'm gonna try to make this a really productive day. I think part of the reason come I wasn't super productive yesterday is because my studio is an absolute mess and I have no motivation to work. I really just want to go back to bed. I am not doing well. I'll be to take a break and kind of enjoy my weekend so I didn't get any filming done but I did make this beautiful belt for my pomegranate gown that we have been working on um, I don't think I'm gonna actively work on that project for a while but this belt is stunning um, I do want to go get some more beads so I can make a drop for it um, because in all of the portraiture that I've seen this belt in, it has a drop and then it has a tassel of pearls on the bottom. So that was one thing that I did this weekend. The other thing I did this weekend was start on a pair of Regency short stays for myself. Um, this is part of creating a high fantasy wardrobe. I am super excited. I have other projects planned, but I need to finish all the commission work first. So, we are getting there. I have um, half of the eyelets done. You can see that I have tied that strap in place. And then I have all the eyelets on this side. I need to do all the eyelets on this side. Um, and then I need to do all the eyelets on a commission. And like, like my goal today is just to sit in my studio and do eyelets. That's what I want. I'm also fully recognizing that eyelets are not particularly exciting content, so I don't think I'm going to even film a time lapse for you guys. Um, when I do finish my short stays, I will be getting dressed, and the outfit that I have planned should be super cute. Um, I didn't think this through. I have a hair stick in my mouth. Okay, um, about halfway done with that set of eyelets, but the husband and I ran out to get some lunch and make a quick stop. So, ooh, that might have been done too tight. I picked up some more beads so I can do, ooh, so I can do the drop on the belt that I wanted. So, kind of excited. I am starting to find that the little things like jewelry and accessories are the things that make you go from that's a really good dress, you did a good job, to oh my gosh you just look like you stepped out of a painting. So the more of that I can do, the more people tell me I look like I stepped out of a painting, the happier I'm going to be in general. Okay, a couple things really quick. Um, I finished the stays. I think if I ever get up the gumption, I'm going to like take two inches out so that way they're just a little bit more snug, a little bit more supportive. That's besides the point. I absolutely love them. I put it with a sample for one of my skirts from Scrappy Patterns. 
Uh, and I am absolutely in love. This is this is what I want to look like every day. Also completely random, but I'm probably gonna regret this can of Mountain Dew because it like overstimulates my brain with my meds. But uh, I feel like I just need that little extra oomph to get 30 or so eyelids done today. So I got a lot of work done today, like I am kind of amazed. Um, I got two doublets over halfway done, um, but that's not the exciting part. Um, ever since I decided that I was going to start taking local commissions again, I have wanted a way to be able to identify the garments that I make as mine without necessarily stitching in a label or a logo or anything like that. Ooh, back it up. Okay, so this is the doublet I am making for one of my friends. The navy bias tape idea was mine. We are going to continue that like the rest of here and then it's also going to like finish out the arm side. So basically all these raw edges are going to get covered with bias tape is what it is. But then you open it up and it's like that's my tailor's mark this hot pink detail which is very functional because like this reinforces where the buttons are gonna sit and this is where you put eyelids in so you can like point your pants to your doublet like these are these are very functional things that are made easier if you use like a gross grain ribbon so figuring out this like random really fun tailor's mark has probably been the highlight of my day um I'm working on this commission too, and I did the exact same thing. I put the uh, ribbon to help reinforce the back of the button placket, and then for his waist tape, I mean we have the same thing. Good morning! Um, I am going to try to get two doublets and a dress to finishing work today. So hopefully we'll get there. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna probably put you guys on a tripod so that way I am more likely to remember to film because that was my problem with yesterday. Oh, really quick. This doublet just needs bias finish and then it's to finishing work. This doublet needs bias finishing and it's to finishing work. This bodice needs to be bag lined and the skirt attached and then it's to finishing work. So depending on the speed at which I work today, I could be done at 2 or I could be done at 8. We will see. Um, I have a full thing of water. I had a really big lunch so I'll probably just keep pay attention to my water and go down and get some um, electrolytes and more water when that is done and I'm just I'm gonna power through I'm gonna do the thing. And it's okay to slow the ride commissions are officially done they have been out of my studio for a while super happy but I realized that I never like filmed a hey they're done so here's the pictures that I sent to my friends when I finished their garments I am super happy with how all of it turned out um, 
feedback I've gotten is they're very happy too, so that is great. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like doing commissions. I like helping people feel good in their clothing. Um, but like I've said before, because the standard that I have is like so high, I want to be able to do fittings with people and you can't really do that if they're not local. So the flip side of this is I am currently in this moment working on some very exciting things. Um, if you have been around for a while, you know that last year I started a pattern line that was just like one size and gridded, so you'd have to scale it up yourself. In the past year, I have become a lot more confident in my patterning skills, specifically with the Bara system, um, which if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to be starting to make educational videos on my Discord, the Glider Club, down below. Long story short, that's a proportional drafting system where like, you plug in your measurements and you get a proportionally drafted pattern. Um, I started doing that digitally. And it has allowed me to start grading patterns. So within the next year, I really want to go through my entire backlog um, of all of my gridded patterns and turn them into graded patterns just so they're a little bit more accessible. Anyway, I just, I have these plans. Um, we will talk more about this in December when we do the 12 Days of Jomas videos. I have them all planned out and they're all patterning related. And with that, I might have finally found the focus I want for my channel. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking all this through, but like right now I'm just, I'm really excited. Um, if you want like more live updates, I guess, like join the Glider Club. I'm very vocal about like what I'm working on and what I'm doing and we're building kind of a fun little community there. So, I don't I'm excited. And I thought I would share it with all of you because exciting things are happening. <laughs> I guess this is like a fitting end to a very like talky video. <laughs> I feel like we have just rambled for 20 minutes, but uh, I guess that's what it is. Bye friends. I made no intro for this video. <laughs> so pretty. This is gonna take less fabric than I expected. The hem is a little bit uneven on both sides.